deploy Azure File Sync, Azure administrators have many tools available to them for managing Azure storage. They need to be efficient and select the best tool for the job. In this module, your company maintains several types of Azure storage in the various departments. You are tasked with designing a solution to maintain the storage by using Azure storage tools to support specific scenarios. You are investigating tool options for both admins and users. You are researching how to transfer files between storage accounts and support background uploads of large data sets. Learning Objectives In this module, you learn how to configure and use Azure Storage Explorer. Configure the Azure Import Export Service. Use the W Import Export tool with the Azure Import Export Service. Configure and use as copy. Skills Measure The content in the module helps you prepare for exam AZ104, Microsoft Azure Administrator. The module concepts are covered in Implement and Manage Storage, Manage Azure Storage, Export from Azure Job, Import into Azure Job, Install and Use Azure Storage Explorer. Copy data by using as copy. Use Azure Storage Explorer. Azure Storage Explorer is a standalone application that makes it easy to work with Azure Storage data on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. With Azure Storage Explorer, you can access multiple accounts and subscriptions and manage all your storage content. Things to know about Azure Storage Explorer. Azure Storage Explorer has the following characteristics. Azure Storage Explorer requires both management and data layer permissions to allow full access to your resources. You need Azure Active Directory permissions to access your storage account, the containers in your account, and the data in the containers. Azure Storage Explorer lets you connect to different storage accounts. Connect to storage accounts associated with your Azure subscriptions. Connect to storage accounts and services that are shared from other Azure subscriptions. Connect to and manage local storage by using the Azure Storage Emulator. Things to consider when using Azure Storage Explorer. Azure Storage Explorer supports many scenarios for working with storage accounts in global and national Azure. As you review these options, think about which scenarios apply to your Azure Storage implementation. Scenario Description Connect to an Azure subscription. Manage storage resources that belong to your Azure subscription. Work with local development storage. Manage local storage by using the Azure Storage Emulator. Attach to external storage. Manage storage resources that belong to another Azure subscription or that are under national Azure clouds by using the storage account name, key, and endpoints. This scenario is described in more detail in the next section. Attach a storage account with a SaaS. Manage storage resources that belong to another Azure subscription by using a shared access signature. Attach a service with a SaaS. Manage a specific Azure storage service that belongs to another Azure subscription by using a SaaS. Attach to external storage account. Azure Storage Explorer lets you attach to external storage accounts so storage accounts can be easily shared. To create the connection, you need the external storage account name and account key. In the Azure portal, the account key is called Key1. To use a storage account name and key from a national Azure cloud, use the Storage Endpoints domain drop-down menu to select other and then enter the custom storage account endpoint domain. Access Keys Access Keys provide access to the entire storage account. They are provided two access keys so you can maintain connections by using one key while regenerating the other. Important: Store your access keys securely. We recommend regenerating your access keys regularly. When you regenerate your access keys, you must update any Azure resources and applications that access this storage account to use the new keys. This action doesn't interrupt access to disks from your virtual machines. Use the Azure Import Export Service. The Azure Import Export Service is used to securely import large amounts of data to Azure Blob Storage and Azure Files by shipping disk drives to an Azure Data Center. This service can also be used to transfer data from Azure Blob Storage to disk drive and ship to your on-premises sites. Things to know about the Azure Import Export Service Examine the following characteristics of the Azure Import Export Service. Data from your disk drives can be imported to Azure Blob Storage or Azure Files in your Azure Storage account. Data from Azure Storage in your Azure Storage account can be exported to drives that you provide. Create an Azure Import job to import data from physical disks into Azure Blob Storage or Azure Files. Create an Azure Export job to export data from Azure Storage to hard disk drives. 
You can create jobs directly from the Azure portal or programmatically by using the Azure Storage Import. Export REST API Things to consider when using the Azure Import Export Service The Azure Import Export Service is frequently used in cases where uploading or downloading data over the network is too slow or getting more network bandwidth is cost prohibitive. Let's review some scenarios where using the Azure Import Export Service can help improve performance. Consider cloud migrations. Move large amounts of data to Azure quickly and cost effectively with the Azure Import Export Service. Consider content distribution. Send data quickly to customer sites in diverse geographic locations. Consider backup operations. Use the Azure Import Export Service to take backups of your on-premises data to store in Azure Blob Storage. Consider data recovery. Recover large amounts of data stored in blob storage and have the delivered to your on-premises location with the Azure Import Export Service. Azure Import Jobs Azure Import Jobs securely transfer large amounts of data to Azure Blob Storage or Azure Files. You ship disk drives to an Azure data center. The staff copy specified data to the Azure Storage and then return the drives to you. Consider how Azure Import Jobs can be a part of your data transfer strategy. Create an Azure Import Job. Follow these steps to create an Azure Import Job. 1. If you don't have an Azure Storage account, create an account to use for the Import Job. 2. Determine the number of disks needed to accommodate the data to transfer. 3. Identify the computer to use to perform the data copy and attach the physical disks you intend to ship to Microsoft. 4. Install the WImport Export tool on the disks. We'll take a closer look at the WImport Export tool in the next unit. 5. Run the WImport Export tool to copy the data on the disks. Encrypt the disk drives with BitLocker. Generate journal files to document the data transfer. 6. In the Azure portal, create an Azure import job and provide the following information. The Azure storage account to use for the import job. The return address for shipment of your disks. Your shipment carrier account number. The data center address of the Azure region that hosts the Azure storage account. 7. Ship the required number of disks to the Azure region data center that hosts the storage account. Note the shipment tracking number. 8. Update the import job to include the shipment tracking number. 9. After the disks arrive at the Azure Data Center, the staff completes the following tasks. The data on the provided disk is copied to the specified storage account. The disks are shipped back to you. Azure Export Jobs Azure Export Jobs transfer data from Azure Storage to hard disk drive and ship the disks to your on-premises sites. Think about how Azure Export Jobs can support your data transfer scenarios. Create an Azure Export Job Follow these steps to create an Azure Export Job. 1. Identify the data in Azure Blob Storage to export. 2. Determine the number of disks needed to accommodate the data to transfer. 3. In the Azure Portal, create an Azure Export Job and provide the following information. The Azure Storage Account to use for the export job. The Blob Data to export. The return address for shipment of your disks. Your shipment carrier account number. 4. Ship the required number of disks to the Azure Region Data Center that hosts the storage account. Note the shipment tracking number. 5. Update the export job to include the shipment tracking number. 6. After the disks arrive at the Azure Data Center, the staff completes the following tasks. The specified data in the storage account is copied to the disks you provided. The disk volumes are encrypted by using BitLocker. The disks are shipped back to you. The BitLocker keys used to encrypt your disks are stored with the specified storage account in the Azure portal. You can decrypt the content of the disks and copy the data to your on-premises storage. Use the WImport Export tool. WImport Export is the Azure Import Export Service tool. The tool is used to prepare drives before importing data and to repair any corrupted or missing files after data transfer. Note, the WImport Export tool is available in two versions. Version 1 is best for importing and exporting data in Azure Blob Storage. Version 2 is best for importing data into Azure Files. The WImport Export tool is only compatible with 64-bit Windows operating system. For the list of supported operating systems and versions, see Azure Import Export Requirements. Things to know about the WImport Export tool. You can use the WImport Export tool with the Azure Import Export service to complete the following tasks. 
before you create an Azure import job, use the W import export tool to copy data to the hard disk drives you intend to ship to Microsoft. After your Azure import job completes, use the W import export tool to repair any blobs that were corrupted, missing, or that have conflicts with other blobs in your Azure storage. After you receive your disk drives from a completed Azure export job, use the W import export tool to repair any corrupted or missing files on the drives. The W import export tool handles data copy, volume encryption, and creation of journal files. Journal files are necessary to create an Azure import export job and help ensure the integrity of the data transfer. Things to consider when using the W import export tool. There are several points to consider as you plan for using the W import export tool with the Azure import export service. Consider supported disk drives. For hard disk drives, the Azure import export service requires internal SATAII, III HDDs or SSDs. Keep this requirement in mind when selecting your hard disk drives. Consider BitLocker encryption. When you prepare a disk for an Azure import job, you must encrypt the NTFS volume of each disk drive with BitLocker. Consider OS version. To prepare a disk drive, you must connect the drive to a computer that's running a 64-bit version of the Windows client or server operating system. You run the W import export tool from that computer. Use the as copy tool. An alternate method for transferring data is the as copy tool. As copy v10 is the next generation command line utility for copying data to and from Azure Blob Storage and Azure Files. As copy v10 offers a redesigned command line interface and new architecture for high performance reliable data transfers. You can use as copy to copy data between a file system and a storage account or between storage accounts. Things to know about as copy. Let's look at some of the characteristics of the as copy tool. Every as copy instance creates a job order and a related log file. You can view and restart previous jobs and resume failed jobs. You can use as copy to list or remove files or blobs in a given path. As copy supports wildcard patterns in a path, include flags and exclude flags. As copy automatically retries a transfer when a failure occurs. When you use Azure Blob Storage, as copy lets you copy an entire account to another account with the put command from URL APIs. No data transfer to the client is needed. As copy supports Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 APIs. As copy is built into Azure Storage Explorer. As copy is available on Windows, Linux, and MacOS. Authentication options. There are two options to authenticate your transferred data when using as copy. Authentication support description Azure Active Directory Azure Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. The user enters the as copy sign in command to sign in by using Azure Add. The user should have the storage blob data contributor role assigned, which allows them to write to blob storage by using Azure Add Authentication. When the user signs in from Azure Add, they provide their credentials only once. This option allows the user to circumvent having to append a SAS token to each command. SAS tokens, Azure Blob Storage and Azure Files. On the command line, the user appends a SAS token to the blob or file path for every command they enter. As Copy and Azure Storage Explorer. Azure Storage Explorer uses the As Copy tool for all of its data transfers. If you want to use a graphical UI to work with your files, you can use Azure Storage Explorer and gain the performance advantages of As Copy. Azure Storage Explorer uses your account key to perform operations. After you sign into Azure Storage Explorer, you don't need to provide your authorization credentials again. Things to consider when using as copy. Review the following scenarios for using as copy. Consider how the tool features can enhance your Azure storage solution. Consider data synchronization. Use as copy to synchronize a file system to Azure Blob Storage and vice versa. As copy is ideal for incremental copy scenarios. Consider job management. Manage your transfer operations with as copy. View and restart previous jobs. Resume failed jobs. Consider transfer resiliency. Provide data resiliency for your data transfers. If a copy job fails, as copy automatically retries the copy. Consider fast account to account copy. Use as copy with Azure Blob Storage for the account to account copy feature. Because data isn't transferred to the client, the transfer is faster. Get started with the as copy CLI. 
You access the Ads Copy tool by using the CLI in a console or terminal window. The tool offers a simple self-documented syntax. The basic CLI syntax for Ads Copy starts with the Ads Copy command followed by the type of job to perform, such as copy. For the copy command, you specify the path of the files to copy, the path for the copied files, and any for options to apply to the transfer job. 